it says, um, so it's giving, telling you about a telescope, CAC-1 telescope at Mauna Kea, I think it's in Hawaii, uh, has uh, some diameter and the 30 meter telescope, uh, I think it's at the same location. When completed, we'll have a diameter of 30 meters. Uh, it asks uh, how much more light will the 30 meter telescope be able to collect than the CAC-1 telescope in the same amount of time. And I recommend that you always look at the hint. It, um, if you know the answer, great. <laughs> if not, uh, take a look at the hint. And, um, and usually hint will actually give you enough information uh, it, or I think it gives you enough information to be able to answer. So if you go to the section, if you look at this example, um, you will you will find the calculation that uh, very similar to what you see here. So let me leave you to look at that yourself. And uh, what I'll do here while I'm here on video and recording, I'm just gonna uh, go through this uh, calculation and considerations. So the biggest thing to realize here is that when this telescope is three times the size of the other telescope, that how much more light it gathers, it's not three times, it's uh, three times three times. And uh, let me try to represent it in a graphic form. Let's see here, annotation tool. So I'm gonna, um, so these telescope mirrors are usually circular, but just so that it's easy for me to draw, I'm going to draw them as a, a little squares. So as a, Schematic representation, let's say I have some light, starlight, that's falling on some um, surface area. I have stars here, that's emitting light, and that's being collected by instruments that are down here. So the CAC-1 telescope, a representation of that would, uh, uh, would look like this. Again, I'm drawing it as square so that it's easy for me to draw and more importantly, easy for me to compare. The 30 meter telescope, so it has a three times the, the diameter, three times the, three times the size lengthwise. And so I'm trying to draw it about three times. So that's one, so one, two, three. So this telescope here has, um, the replacement has three times the lengthwise size. So you can compare that here. This is the size of the first telescope. The, the replacement is three times as long. And when you look at that, I hope as you look at this figure that I'm drawing, that if you are looking at how much light is being collected, how much of the light that's falling down is being collected. What really matters isn't the uh, length, it's the area. Because as you know, any light that's falling outside the area will not be collected. Any light that's falling within the area will be collected. So to, to compare how much uh, amount of light is collected, you want to compare area. And when you are comparing area, you can see that if this is one unit, one amount of area that's capturing light, then how much light is being captured by the larger telescope is, there's one, two, three, four, count this as well, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, so it should be nine times the amount of light. And uh, I, this question is uh, involves numbers that are small enough and simple enough that you can answer this way. And if you look at the example that's in the textbook, they will give you a more algebraic approach, I think. Let me double check. I think they will give you more algebraic approach. <laughs> Let me just double check to be sure. So when you look at that example of calculating, yeah, more algebraic approach. And you know, that's fine. That gives you a similar answer. Um, so 
So, and, and this is one of the purposes of a telescope that with a larger size, larger area, you can gather more light so you can see fainter objects. That's why people keep building bigger and bigger telescope uh, so, for that reason. Um, and I think in the slides I talk about uh, adaptive optics, which has really revolutionized what kind of things can be done with a ground-based telescope. 